Hello everyone, it's the Batman Statue Collector and I had a request to show you uh, my process on how um, I'm constructing a brand new shelf. Uh, this of course is going to be a shelf for my Arkham line. Uh, I want to extend out my shelving a little bit uh, because I am out of space uh, for the, the pieces that I've pre-ordered. And so um, basically I just wanted to show you what I've done here. Um, this as I posted not too long ago on my Facebook group, uh, this is my first attempt at carpentry and uh, it turned out fairly okay. Um, I'm sure that there are lots of other uh, better ways to do this than what I did, but uh, I basically am going to just kind of show you how I made the frame. Uh, in the past, I have of course relied on metal framing, like metal garage shelving units, and if you um, want to know what I did with those, uh, there is a link I will put down below in the description that will show you how I did those uh, and added wood fronts to those. And that's basically what I'm going to do with this as well. But basically, uh, kind of get down in here a little bit. Basically, I just uh, took two by fours. Um, and what I did is I measured this. Uh, actually, uh, this right here is a composite um, shelf. Um, I had found this about a year ago. Um, it's getting harder and harder to find black shelving. Uh, it's mostly like, you know, uh, browns and you know different colors it's harder to get the blacks um, and so I found this piece and I actually liked uh, the length of it I thought it was really good I knew I could fit three of my statues on it so this is what I used for my guide so I measured um, the different sides and that's how I came up with this and uh, if you've never made a shelf like this before basically what you do is you make a outline frame here okay with whatever measurements you have and I just uh, screwed them in uh, again really sloppy doesn't look good because mine's gonna be covered but basically I just screwed that in uh, so I made a, a frame like this I did the exact same thing up top I made a second frame and then I screwed in my vertical pieces okay I screwed those in uh, and then what I did is I took this whole top piece and I brought it in and lowered it right into this frame and then screwed it in uh, here, here, uh, on the side, there. And then, of course, I did the same thing up top. I just uh, put two screws basically in everything to give it extra support. It's uh, incredibly durable and it can withstand quite a bit of weight. Um, then I, what I did is I took that composite piece, I just drilled straight down into it. Um, and it gives me that finished look. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a front, uh, just like I did here. Um, again, this is a kind of a lighter wood material, uh, which I will paint, and then I have beadboard here. I'm going to do the same thing with that. Uh, I've already actually, let me back up here, I've already uh, from an old project, um, from an old shelf that I was making, um, I already have that, that same composite wood. I'll kind of show you what it looks like on the back of it. You can get it at any building supply place. It's basically just trim is basically what it is. Um, but what I did is I used a nail gun and obviously I didn't do very good there. That, that will obviously be hidden. Um, but I just used a nail gun and nailed the two together. Again, it shows that I have very limited <laughs> carpentry skills. Um, but when I paint it black, uh, some of that won't show. I'll probably use a little bit of wood filler here to, to do that. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those on uh, the two front corners. I'll cut it down to oh, about here so it matches uh, my other ones. Here you can see they, they raise up a little bit. And that was just to cover the metal pieces behind. But uh, basically what I'm going to do is that. Um, I will go ahead and cut the other pieces and then I'll show you how I put uh, the rest of it together. So yeah, I just want to show you how incredibly sad I am. <laughs> um, I do not have a table saw. Um, I've got lots of tools, um, but I've never had a table saw, which makes uh, cutting wood very difficult. Uh, and so this is my famous miter box here. <laughs> this is what I have used. Uh, on all of my shelves uh, and a saw like this um, basically to cut all of these things down uh, again all of my cabinets that I've made so every single cut 
I've made on that particular miter saw or miter box and uh, that's what I'm going to be using for this here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut these uh, pieces down uh, to fit this particular shelf and uh, I'll show you how I'm doing that. Alright, so this first piece is a little complicated because I already have it nailed together, uh, but I have measured out here exactly how tall I want it to be, and that's 27 inches for this particular shelf. And so I'm going to cut it right along. I've already marked the line, and so I'm going to kind of straighten that out, make sure it's going to line up. So it's exactly where I want it. I'm going to make a few initial, initial cuts. Like that I have my cut and uh, as you can see there it is and so I'm going to do that two two times for the shelf itself and then I'll cut the other pieces to fit but uh, that's basically what I do with that miter box so here's some more uh, pieces of that composite wood they come really long as you can see uh, and basically I just cut them down into the sections I need so next up will be the two sides here and then the sides on that side is what I'm going to do next, and uh, I'll go ahead and cut those down and show you what that looks like. So I'm measuring 43, because that's the difference, 48 minus the 2.5 and, and the 2.5 for the other board. So 43 it is. It's pretty square here. And there is one of the 43. And then I will cut. Obviously, I don't have enough for the second one, but I'll use this piece for some of the sides. And so, again, I'm sure that there is a simpler way to do all of this, but this is what I came up with uh, to join all of the pieces together. Just some brackets with some screws, uh, and I'll show you uh, what it's like screwing those in. All right, so I'm on the back side. I've measured two inches down, and I'm going to take that bracket, just like I said, and I'm going to screw it in just like that. And then the side pieces, this is a short one, but basically the side pieces go in just like this, and I screw all four in, and I'll go ahead and do that now. And again, just join in the corners here. So they're nice and flush. Again, Sorry for my shakiness trying to do this with one hand, but uh, there you can see what the corners look like when they are basically just screwed in. And again, there is the finished frame. So what I will do now is I will build up this way and put the sides on and then fit it to the front. Let's do that next. All right, I also wanted to show you what the uh, beadboard or the paneling looks like. Uh, this is unfinished. Um, kind of thick. Basically I just screw that into the frame. I'll show you that here in just a little bit, but I did want to show you what it looks like unfinished. And uh, we'll go ahead and get it cut down to size and attached to the frame. Um, I also find that when you're doing pieces, I, I put these brackets on first uh, rather than putting it on the big part because then when you, you know, join it to something, you can make it flush, you can push against it and just screw in um, the final two holes, but this is just what I do. I feel like it makes it a little bit easier again Just something that I do All right, so now I have one side attached and again just attaching these side brackets to the, the frame we just did and Attaching it to a back piece that is also as tall as the front So you basically just get a frame that looks kind of like that and now we're going to come over here and do the same and attach this side, this frame, over here on this side. So that way we'll get a full front. All right, measuring two inches down on the top and the other will be flush on the bottom. But let's go ahead and get those screwed in for these last side panels here. All right, so now as you can see, I have the uh, full frame uh, all screwed together. And of course, again, it's just basically going to fit on the front of that and now what I have to do is cut down this uh, beadboard for the front 
and the sides and I will show you that next and then once we get that all together uh, it's going to be time to paint. All right, so I just got through uh, cutting uh, this top part of this off. Uh, I measured 24 inches tall, which is uh, about halfway uh, on this white part here. Um, and then I'm basically going to just screw it in from behind. And I have um, half inch screws, just wood screws here, real small. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and screw those into the back. And I'll show you what that looks like. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just screwing in along the edge here. Basically, this will hold it down all along the edge here. I'm going to go all the way around and screw it down. All right, so I have it all screwed in. Uh, doesn't have to be real pretty because it is the back side, but uh, basically it's ready to go. We're going to do the same thing with the two sides. And basically, uh, where the lines are on the uh, beadboard, we're just going to use an X-Acto knife or a box cutter and uh, cut it down it should cut real easily all right so then when all is said and done this is basically what it looks like in the raw and i'll kind of show you what it looks like back behind again it's nothing pretty it looks pretty sloppy especially from the back but all that matters to me is it looks good on the front and so again what i'm going to do now is paint the same color black as the rest of the shelves and uh, we'll then attach it back to the frame. All right, so just a really quick uh, first coat of black. Kind of show you what that looks like. Again, real sloppy. Doesn't need to be nice because, again, the front is what matters. So uh, one coat down and one coat to go. And just like that, uh, we have a finished shelf here. Um, <laughs> one thing that I am realizing after it is dry is that it is a little bit lighter shade of black. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure which one to get at the store, and so I guessed wrong. Uh, you can definitely see a difference there. Uh, looks a lot lighter on camera. But, so I'm going to go and get uh, another can of paint, and I'm going to paint one more time so it matches the back shelves, a little bit darker black. And uh, But then at that point, uh, we'll be ready to put the statues on. So <laughs> here, here we go again. And so now a layer of the black, it's a little bit darker, and we'll see if that dries uh, to match the other cases. All right, so the final coat of the black looks really good. Uh, it's the next morning, and it matches the other shelves. Uh, again, I hope this uh, process give, gave you a little bit of uh, inspiration on what you could do with your own shelves. Again, if it's... Uh, you know, really hard to find shelves in your area that are going to work for you. Uh, if you don't have an IKEA or your statues are too big, you know, consider doing your own shelving. Uh, it's not that hard. It does take a little bit of planning. Uh, it does cost a little bit of money, but again, you're going to pay that same amount for those expensive shelving units anyway. Um, so again, just consider it. You know, it's something that's, uh, you know, again, fairly easy to do. Uh, I have very limited carpentry skills, like I said. But again, it's just something I think that uh, you should try if you're uh, wanting to do something a little bit different. As always, guys, I hope this inspired you, and I hope you enjoyed watching it today. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave.